Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. Today we're going to be looking at the lighting of our 3D print farm. Uh, lighting's very important, and we're installing LED lighting on each shelf so that we can uh, see clearly how the print job is going along and progressing. So join us today and we'll show you what all was involved in getting this LED lighting installed. Three foot LED light, 20 watt, pack it, take off the protective coating, now on the back we have some slots here, what we're going to do is Run this zip tie through this slot, then about a quarter of an inch away from the end, we're going to lock it in. And we'll do the same thing on the other end. Take this clamp and the zip tie through it. Tie through. And now a quarter of an inch away from the end. Lock it in place. Now, you'll be able to take this, put it underneath. Here. Or zip tie through. This in. Well, as you can see, we've got our LED lighting under the shelves. We've got one light under each shelf and on both shelves. As you can see, these are the upper ones and here are the lower ones. Now that we've got the LED lights on the shelving, now we just have to get some on the ceiling. But I think we're going to need some special mounts for that. So we're going to take one of the lights here and measure to see what size of a mounting bracket we need to make. Looks like 52.8 millimeters. Um, so we'll get on the computer and draw up a part for that. Here's our clamp. And this will go over the part and then screw into the ceiling to uh, hold the LED lights on the ceiling. Uh, I really didn't like the... Uh, 
clamp that came with it, especially mounting them on the ceiling like that. Um, they might fall and break or hit someone in the head or damage the printer. So, well, now that we've got our drawing, we go to Cura, and we're going to be printing them on our King Room printers here in the office where we do a lot of our development work. It's a one hour, 47 minute print job, it looks like. So uh, before, instead of printing this whole part, we're going to print about one tenth of it, just enough so that we can try it and make sure that all of the dimensions are going to work um, without printing the whole part. Okay, the part's printed, and here's our little test piece. We're going to put it on, see if it fits, it lines up. It looks like it lines up perfectly just the way we want it to. So now we can go ahead and get started on um, printing five of these for our print farm. Okay, looks like we've got our parts printed now, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll take this part off of the printer. And on the King Rune, if you notice, we've got this magnetic base, which makes it real convenient. We don't have to wait for it to cool down. We can just pull this plate up, and then once it's loosened, it comes right off. I like that a lot. Looks like a good part. Now we'll take it over and uh, try it on our light and see if it works like the prototype piece did. And it does. It looks like it's going to work out perfect. So now that we've got one good one, we just need to print four more. And there they are. Um, and this is the number five, the last one. Uh, being printed right now on the um, other King Room printer. And there are all five parts. We're ready to go to the print farm and hang some lights on the ceiling. Okay, we've got them up on the ceiling. The clamps work perfect. Um, hold our lights in place. And it looks like our lighting job here is finished. And we can go on to something else. Uh, now we're going to test our lights, and uh, you can see everything's slid up. That's how dark the printers are without the lights. So the lights are important. Uh, they really do give us a good uh, way of seeing the, the parts and everything. The overhead lights are fine but uh, for getting around, but they just don't put out the kind of light that these do right on the printers where you need it. So I guess uh, for now that's the uh, lighting part of this video. We've uh, got those going. As you can see we've got most of the printers put together. Have about three more to go. We'll be finishing those up and getting the video out and getting power onto these things.